Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Aspen's Journey. As you can tell by the title or probably by the thumbnail, then you already know what this video is gonna be about. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Today's video is going to be everything you need to know about the ATM business banking, where you can find a bank, what you'll need to open up your bank account, pros, cons, etc. So if you guys are interested on more information about your business bank account, then stay tuned. Here is today's comment of the day. Don't forget to leave me a comment for a chance to be featured in my next video. And congratulations to Toby on finding a bank. So first things first guys, what you need to open up a business account. So you are going to need your EIN or your social security number. You're gonna need your business documents for registering your business. So I have a sole proprietorship. So that's gonna be your DBA, which is known as doing business as. And another name for it is a fictitious business name statement. You file it down at your county clerk's office, costs under 50 bucks for most counties, and they're gonna give you a copy that you take to your bank. So it's just this paper along with your EIN number, and lastly, your processing agreement. Once you get your processing company, this is something that they'll provide you with and you just forward it to the bank. why it's so hard finding a bank so it is due to a lot of fraudulent activities that is easily accessible being an atm business owner such as money laundering potential counterfeit credit card fraud you know obviously we have a bit of access to some credit card information so it's just a big liability banks don't want the liability they they don't want the trouble they don't want the drama so this is why most banks just don't accept atm businesses now one thing you can do is use a third party to service your machine a lot of banks who don't accept atm businesses will accept it with a third party my bank being one of them i don't know if you guys ever see like those brinks trucks refilling the atm machines that's a service you can hire them to refill your atm machine i will say it is expensive guys and I personally wouldn't do it. So the only way I would do it would be for like mobile ATM fairs, farmers markets, carnival. If you're at a location where your location is doing 400 a month, but they charge you 350, like it's eating up all of your profit. But one of the pros is a bank. It's it's much easier to find a bank. My bank that I'm going through, they did give me the option to use a third party so I can hire someone to service my machine and then I can keep the account. But if not, then they're going to close it. Some of the other pros is it'll free up a lot of your money. I'm up to 8,000 for one of my ATM. I don't have access to that $8,000. So if I were to hire someone, it would free up that $8,000, whether I needed to like invest or to you know do something with also your atm would be 100 percent passive income you don't do anything nothing at all you you are hands off i would recommend it for is very high traffic locations so like the mall only high traffic locations and like mobile events finding a bank guys what you guys all want to know make sure you check out aspenatm.selfi.store for all of your atm business needs vendors list 10 step guide on how to get started contracts definitely check out the website finding a bank guys so it really is a numbers game it's just that simple guys like with everything else it's a numbers game if you're only calling two banks a week of course it's going to take you six months to find a bank but if you hit the ground running and you're calling like 10 banks every single day like calling out of town towns next to you different counties like asking around just hitting the ground running you know it really is a numbers game you would probably find a bank within a week I'm sure probably two days three days you know so you have to call I say you're gonna get like 10 no's before you get a yes or a maybe and that's the same as finding a location it's a numbers game and I would also say start with small local branches 
Don't start with the Bank of America's, the Wells Fargo's, the Chase Bank's. You can still hit those up, you can. I mean, it's worth a try. I, I seen someone on YouTube who said they bank with Bank of America. You never know, maybe every branch is different, but I would say start with the small, tiny local branches, credit unions, I heard are really good. Another thing you can do guys is purchase vendors list. Like I have a vendors list for sale and it has my bank on there. Now, it, I live in California guys and my bank is only in California. There is obviously other things, but if you're purchasing it just for the bank and you don't live in California, I don't want you guys to waste your money. You can look for other owners who may sell vendors list, Google, go on Instagram, you know, try to find vending and ATM owners and see if they have a vendors list to where they will sell you their bank, you know, so you don't have to shop around. But those are just a, a few ways that you guys can find a bank. That's really the hardest part, guys, is finding a bank. Finding a bank is sometimes harder than finding a location, you know? So once you find your bank, it is like, you're like, yes ready to go you know so shout out to the comment of the day this is one of my subscribers and he just got his bank so shout out to you and shout out to all of you guys who are getting started in the atm business again make sure you check out aspenatm.selfi.store for all of your atm business needs give the video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you if you want to support the channel check out the description box on ways that you can do that leave me a comment let me know if the video was helpful Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.